all enjoyed the combine or this uh, this past weekend. Uh, if you're one of those guys and gals, I'll remind you this: trust your eyes on your tape. Trust your eyes on your tape. If you're uh, whether you're watching it YouTube or you get the film somehow, or you're evaluating. Trust your eyes. Don't uh, don't get influenced by workouts. Uh, that's only part of it. Uh, as we go, you know, now make sure that the workout correlates with the tape. So, you know, you, you a lot of people be moving their boards all around. Guys will be going up and down, you know, oh, you got to watch this guy now. You got to do this. Well, you know, if you've done your work, you know, like I say, make sure you watch that tape first. That's the most important thing that I could say to you right now. If you're one of these folks that likes to follow along and say, well, you know, don't, don't, don't think about group, you know, speak. Do your own work, yeah. you know, and and have your own opinion, and uh, make sure you listen to uh, the draft show every Tuesday and Thursday as well on DallasCowboys dot com. Yes, sir. That we that we're all part of now as well. All right, uh, with the news with Tyron Smith, uh, I'm going to run you through some offensive tackles. Uh, I think these are the ones that the Cowboys will have the opportunity to draft. If I don't talk about the other ones, that's I don't think that they'll be there. I just think these are the guys when you get. Uh, to 24, then you will, uh, th- these are the options that you you have here. So the first one I want to talk about is uh, Tyler Guyton from Oklahoma. And Guyton was a star as a right tackle for the Sooners. You're talking about a 6'7 guy with 328 pounds. He's got the length. He's got the athletic ability, the movement skills. For how tall and heavy he is, he plays with a great deal of fluidity to his frame. And he's pretty good when he's tested with quick movements. And he does a really nice job of staying in position And when those snaps, when he plays a little tall, and he finds himself all ba- off balance. He can find his way to get himself back corrected. Uh, but he does have the length to keep defenders off his body. The pad level can be, uh, can be a little bit of an issue with him. But when addressed, he is, he is on point. It, he's so tall, it's hard for him to bend. His knees. I, I didn't know if you thought about that as well, Zach, when you watched him play. With when you saw him, did you feel like though that maybe some of the the knee bend there was a little bit of a struggle? Yeah, just because he's so big, so that he doesn't have the natural bend there. And yeah. I, and I wanted him because I mean his size. I, I wanted just more nastiness out yeah. of his game in yeah. general because yeah. you feel like you could be able to throw people around. Right, right. But I tell you what though. I think he could. I think he could do everything you want at a, as a left tackle. He is a very nimble-footed guy. He is. for being that big. He's a transfer from TCU, by the way. Mm-hmm. So I'm, our Horn Frog fans out there probably remember him as well. The next one is J.C. Latham from Alabama. Okay, now he's a starter at right tackle. And Zach, you and I were talking about this. That do you feel like that maybe he could play left tackle? And I'll tell you what, that's going to be the question to be interested to see if the Cowboys think about moving him. There were some questions about moving him as a sophomore when he was at Alabama, and that's when they had Evan Neal. But the coaching staff decided that when Evan Neal left that they were not going to they were going to develop another left tackle. They weren't going to weaken two spots. So he never got to play the left tackle spot. I asked one of my scouting buddies in the league, do you feel like that he could play left tackle? And, and this is a guy that went to uh, went to Alabama and saw him. He says, I think it would be a struggle. Mm -hmm. He opens his outside shoulders, and it causes the speed rushers to be able to get to him. He goes, watch the LSU game. Those guys gave him some problems. He goes, I think he's a right tackle and could be devastatingly good guard. So, okay, here's another thing we're thinking about there. With, With Latham, could he be Tyler Smith go out to tackle and could you plug, say, draft a J.C. Latham as a guard? Ooh, that, that as a guard, of, interesting. As a, as a potential guard there. So this guy's a powerful guy at 6'5", 360 pounds. You know, you're getting a massive guy that can get a little top-heavy at times. Yep. But in the running game, he could be devastating the way that he comes off the ball as a run blocker. Yeah. So keep an eye on that. I'll be interested to see if we start to hear some whispers out from the Cowboys that they think he can play left tackle. Again, scout buddy of mine in the league who 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 went to Alabama thinks that he would probably be better at right tackle, and then you keep him and maybe potentially play him at guard. 
Yeah, I put in my notes. Wonder if he could also kick inside and be a good guard. Think he can be an, an elite right tackle, but I don't think he can play on the left side. But he's the pancake man. Yeah. Like this dude will put people on the ground consistently. Yep. Absolutely right about that. Okay, Emeritus Mims from Georgia. Now, here's the question. Now, again, another guy, 6'7", 340 pounds. Just some, these, these tackles we're talking about are all just mammoth guys. Okay, he was the starter at right tackle for Georgia. He hurt his ankle in the South Carolina game, and he missed six games because of that ankle. He had what's known as this tightrope surgery to fix. And the tightrope is when they put a screw and they bring everything together. They bring the ankle together. And it seems to be one of those things that kind of helps people with high ankle sprains. We might be talking about this tightrope surgery here for a lot more guys coming up. But he came back for the old Miss game. As I mentioned, he's massive. He moves really well for his size. I'd like to see him be a little lighter than the 340 pounds that he plays Mm -hmm. uh, because I think it can add some more quickness to his game. There's some snaps where he's a little slow off the ball, but he manages to recover and keep the defender off the ball. His balance will come and go a little bit. You don't see him on the ground at all. He could be a little top-heavy and stumble around some, but he's really, really, really tough. He'll wall his guy off in the running game. His size is a problem for defenders to deal the with. The arm length. Yeah. I mean, as soon as he gets a hold of you, it's game over. Yeah. I, I I do like the guy. The problem that I have is he has not played a lot of football. No. Started okay. six games last year, and then I think he played the two uh, playoff games. Yeah. So, so that's... Eight, so I, eight, I mean, he is boomer bust, but the upside and potential of this guy, he could be the best tackle in the class. All right, Dawson, can I convince you to, to draft an offensive tackle the first round that's only played eight games? You can now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. See, that's that would make me a little nervous. Yeah. That would make me a little I nervous. I get it. Because the, because the sample size of him as a player is really, really small. But I feel like, though, with his size, I feel like he can play left tackle. Oh, yeah. I, I feel think so, like too. I, He's I, a good yeah, enough athlete to he's do a, it. a very good athlete. Here. Well, what was the reason he's missing these games? Injury? Injuries Injury. have been the problem. How many yeah. different ones? Yeah. Well, he, like I say, it's the, 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 the big thing was he had guys ahead of him yes. that were better players. And that's why he was waiting his turn, waiting his turn. And then when he got his opportunity... He got injured. He hurt the ankle, and that was it. It wasn't like a knee or a a shoulder or something like that you're dealing with. It was was the ankle. But he just, he has not played a bunch of football. That's that's But the the, tape when he plays is pretty darn good. It is good. All right, one of my favorite tackles, and I don't know if the Cowboys will take this guy, but he's one of my favorite guys, is Jordan Morgan from Mm -hmm. Arizona. He is a true left tackle, though, and he's super impressive in the way that he moves and he adjusts. There is no wasted motion or movement with this guy. He gets away from the line well. He strikes right off the set. He tends to carry his hands a little low, but the able to get him in position quickly, I think he's got some rare change of direction to his game. He never appears off balance or out of position. The lateral burst, the movements, all those things stay in, in position throughout the block. Now, what I really, really, really like about this guy is he plays left tackle. Yes. That's where he is. And I... I feel like, though, that at 6'5", 325 pounds, he doesn't look that heavy. No, he does not. He looks very light on his feet. He looks very nimble. He looks he looks very natural in the way he moves. The pad level, the balance, he can overpower rushers the way he plays. He just doesn't make many mistakes. No. I I really, really, really do like this guy. I Again, I don't know if the Cowboys do, but I, I, would, I would surely at 24 give this guy... Some considerations, Zach. I don't know how you feel about that. I love him, and he allowed one sack and 670 total snaps in 2022. I think the pass sets and the footwork are phenomenal with him, but his ability to counter yeah. what the defensive end is able to do. There's times where you'll see him even on one foot. He gets one foot up in the air, yeah. and he's able to counter and make adjustments with his body, uh, the way he can lean, wall off people in the running game. I think Jordan Morgan's a fantastic prospect. I'm a big fan of his. Yeah, me too. And I don't know if, again, I don't know if they'll do it at 24, but I, I do like his traits. The other guys that I talked about, I kind of feel like there's some question marks there. Cowboys do a great job, as we mentioned, plug-and-play, offensive linemen, centers, guards, tackles. They found ways to put these guys in the first round and then make it work. So uh, hopefully they can uh, continue the magic of doing that.